Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm revisiting a video that I uploaded a few weeks ago showing you guys how to create your very own custom cell cal plate for the Fly-by-Wire A320neo and uh, the method has changed somewhat since creating that first tutorial a few weeks back so I'm going back into it and showing you guys the new way, the new method to get whatever you want put into the cell cal code area of the flight deck. So it will require some tweaking until you get it nice and ready to go but those of you who join my streams know that I like to have my channel logo stamped into the aircraft and I'm going to show you guys how to edit that and get it all in there like I did with the uh, coffee cup tutorial uh, the other week as well with these new cockpit textures from the fly by wire mod so you'll notice I've got dev mode selected up at the top so to get that up you go to uh, you press escape go to your start menu general developers and turn developer mode on and then click apply and save down the bottom and you can go ahead and load the aircraft up and uh, be ready to go if you like and uh, what you're then going to also need is uh, make sure you've got the very latest A32NX development version or the experimental fly-by-wire version and you want to check to make sure you've got the following So we've got the latest A32NX and you want to make sure you've got a, a new customise folder which only shows edit registration and readme. So you'll only have two things in there and that's what I've selected here as you can see. Edit registration and a readme. You can go ahead and actually look in the readme file and it will tell you to change the registration, edit the registration PSD in Photoshop or GIMP. I'm going to use GIMP, it's free to use and it's got a DDS plugin converter already included in the package as well so you don't have to worry about downloading the Nvidia texture tools thing either so GIMP's a great option and then you just replace the file as it shows here I'm going to show you how to do all that in the next few minutes so you need to have an idea of what you want to create and here's what the uh, customized logo looks like so to open this in GIMP you can just right click on edit registration open with and select GIMP if that's what you've got. And there we go. On the right hand side, over on the side panel here, we've got four different options. We've got one that says enable this to see clearer. If you turn that vis uh, visible, you'll see the whole thing go black, so the transparency drops off, you can see a little clearer. You've got a don't touch layer. Don't touch it. Um, because if you do all of the rest of the the nice decals around the new textures will disappear or you might break the texture completely and then you've got another one that says uh, DA Flubberwire AGLR and that's the cell cow area and then an edit text here group layer which is what we've got expanded at the moment so you've got all four of those things visible at the moment don't delete this just yet because we're going to use it to help guide where we're going to place our textures but have in mind at this point what it is that you're going to you're going to want to put into the cell cow plate area and uh, this is going to show you how to do it nicely so for me I want my channel logo in there and my channel name inputted onto it so I've got those ready to go as different uh, PNG files so I go file open as layers and then navigate to wherever you've got your um, textures, your picture or uh, whatever else you want to put in and go ahead and just select it and get it into your working area so as you can see mine's massive while it's big I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill the aeroplane in white just so it stands out a bit more and then I'm going to start scaling her down it's going to take a little bit of positioning to get it right there we go so I'm probably going to have it about there and this will make sense in a second okay 
so at this point I can go ahead and I can add in our large text for the channel as well and I can go ahead and make that a little smaller and fill it to whatever colour I wish and uh, in this case I'll just stick it, leave it with white you want to make sure if you're using a fill you are very careful where you're putting the fill because if you wipe the transparent background at any point what it will do is it will completely colourise the front of the flight deck which some of you might want to do but um, it's just something to be careful of and uh, we're working this out nicely there and scale that so that's that pretty much done now if you click on edit text here you can see that there's actually um, the border of it actually comes down significantly further than the working space and that is uh, that's the reason why I've actually dropped my logo font down a little bit because I want the rest of the logo to be visible but on the right hand side of the screen I'm going to go ahead where it says DAFBW right click and delete the layer get rid of it large text only I'm going to right click that layer merge it down and then I'm going to right click on edit text here merge layer group right click on don't touch merge layer group and then I'm going to right click again on edit text here merge down so it's all now one big texture and then with that one highlighted I'm going to go to file export as and instead of it saying edit registration.psd like it does at the top you want to rename it to be that in caps a320neo underscore cockpit underscore decals alpha underscore albd dot png dot dds and then hit export at this point you get the little pop-up here saying save dds you want to click down button click generate mipmaps and hit OK and you're done minimize that okay so now you want to go to the place where you saved your new texture to right click copy make sure you save a backup of it because uh, at this point I should say if you update the A32NX the bespoke cell calc plate similar to the coffee cup will need to be put back in again so copy it back it up and then when you're ready hit uh, right click copy back one into the main A32NX folder or navigate to it if you're working in a different folder somewhere else to go back into your A32NX folder sim objects airplanes A320neo texture and similar to this is well, this is the location this is where we put our coffee cup textures and anything else so we want to right click and hit paste and replace back in the sim then let's see if this has worked with dev mode open at the top you just want to go to windows aircraft selector find the one that you're currently in so for me it's my channel livery and just hit load you can do it with any A320 livery you just have to let Microsoft Flight Simulator now work its magic refresh all the textures and re-render the aircraft into the world and we can now see the texture put in there and keep tweaking it so over time over over a period of sort of 10 20 minutes or so you can fiddle with the textures move the textures around a bit more until you find uh, a happy place and you get it all positioned nicely and then you're done so that's how to create a custom cell cow plate nicely using the uh, new textures from the A320neo flyby wire mod hope you've enjoyed the video let me know how you get on in the comments below and let me know what you go and create as well into the cell cut area be sure to check out all my other videos as well including the tutorial on how to create your own bespoke coffee cup as well which is really cool uh, so there we go an updated version of the cell cow plate 
tutorial for you guys. I know that's not perfect at the moment, I'm going to be tweaking that over the next uh, couple of hours. But let me know what you create. Be sure to click that subscribe button down below as well and join us as a frequent flyer. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all for a live stream very soon. Take care.